I've been getting a lot of DMs asking how to utilize a greenhouse. How do you know when to put your plants out? When do you open the doors, etc., and so forth. So today we're gonna go through all the different things you should think about when placing plants in a greenhouse and what time of year you should do so. So to put this into perspective for you guys, I'm in a zone three. And as of two days ago, it was minus 17 during the day and minus 25 at night. And that's degrees Celsius for any of you out there. Now that's really cold and it's one of the cooler climates here in Canada. Instead, we are slightly starting to warm up. We're at about zero here today, but our nighttime temperatures are still in the minus 15s to 20s. So is it a good idea for me to put plants outdoors? Well, it's going to truly come down to how much money I want to spend trying to heat the greenhouse because ultimately greenhouses, unless properly insulated or something crazy like what our copia has, it's really difficult to keep a greenhouse warm only because of the general structure. And this is particularly true at night. So with that being said, the first thing you want to consider your daytime temps versus your nighttime temps. And the best way to determine how cold your nights are without constantly sitting in there and checking is actually to grab a min-max thermometer. Grabbing one of these is really going to help you look at what your temperature fluctuation is over a 24 hour period. When you can get about five days in a row where your temperatures aren't fluctuating too wildly and staying above zero, you can then consider placing plants in there. So whether this be using things like space heaters, or um, insulation or just ambient sun, whatever the case is, try all the little tips and tricks until you can get that differential really nice and tight. Now, if you're exper experimenting with differential temperature control to get some really good results, then please do, because I did a video on that. But generally speaking, min-max thermometer, getting it in line five days in a row is going to be helpful or key. So the next thing you wanna look at is actually what plants you're placing in your greenhouse. So if you have cooler plants like onions or breast case species, what it, leeks, things like that, perennials, strawberries, whatever the case is, you can actually place them out in the greenhouse earlier than that of a tropical plant. So things like tomatoes or peppers, exotic flowers, you name it. Now, a reason I say that is because with the more tropical type plants, when our nighttime temperatures start dipping below 10 degrees Celsius, we tend to see a really rapid slowdown in growth. So the key here is to actually keep them above that 10 degrees Celsius and using that min-max thermometer to determine when your nighttime temps are staying that warm will help you look at when it's time to actually place them outside. So those you may need to leave indoors longer, but the ones that are more adapted or do better in cooler climates can be moved outdoors sooner. So long as your nighttime temps are staying above zero you'll be just fine and one thing you'll notice is that these plants tend to actually grow better in these cooler environments compared to your home that's at 20 degrees celsius and that's because they're really not meant to be kept that hot so greenhouses in that sense despite being cooler can actually benefit you definitely something you should take advantage of but again always watch your temps and if you think it's going to be cooler or your heater won't be able to keep up then maybe throw a blanket on top of the plants for that night to just help keep that temperature in line now another way you can actually regulate your temperatures and ensure that they're not fluctuating too wildly from daytime to nighttime and get away with not running a heater is using some sort of heat sink so i use buckets of water that are pre-fertilized and in particular I use a big chemical jug that my father-in-law gave me but that or just five gallon pail buckets of water all will help to capture heat during the day and ultimately warm that greenhouse throughout the night so that is something that you could utilize without using a heater and see when those heat retaining jugs will allow you to get through a winter or a night in Canada. I can't give you really a set date on when you can plant your plants outdoors. <laughs> Some years I'm mid-April, plants are going into the greenhouse and other years it's not till the beginning of May. This year it's probably gonna be the beginning of May because it's still so cold here at the end of March. So because of that, I can't give you an exact date and you will need to navigate this a little bit on your own. But one thing I will say is when those daytime temperatures are getting warm, despite those nighttime temperatures still being cold, you really truly wanna watch how warm your greenhouse is getting and find a way to either prop open a door or some sort of a window during the daytime. And yes, I know it's still cold. It's only 10 degrees Celsius and you're probably thinking to yourself, my poor seedlings are not going to be happy with this. And while they may be like, holy moly, that's cold for the first few days, they will do better when you go to transplant them 
outdoors because they will not have transplant shock and you'll be absolutely blown away by how well they harden off because of their exposure to the cold during those beginning months. My last tip when it comes to greenhouse temp regulation and putting your plants out there is getting some form of air movement. Now this can be in the form of opening windows and doors and allowing ambient airflow through, or it can be in the form of a fan. This again will help with not only moisture control and the movement of the plant and strengthening them a little bit, but actually temperature control as well. If you alter or move your fans in a correct motion, it will bring heat in or move heat out according to what you're desiring. So do keep that in mind as well. But that's all the tips and tricks I have for you on using a greenhouse in a cold climate. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to share this video and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.